Andre, the city's website says special event permits help people have safe, affordable and successful events. But tonight, council members said the process currently in place to get a permit is a hassle deterring people from applying. Tonight, the Baltimore City Council hosted an informational hearing to address widespread challenges with getting a permit in the city, including application backlogs, staff shortages, and system irregularities. Also discussed the city strategy for responding to unpermitted events. Just over two weeks ago, an unpermitted block party in Brooklyn ended in tragedy uh, after the mass shooting left two people dead and at least 28 people injured. Council members say although a permit was technically not needed at that event, improving the permitting process so it's less cumbersome and costly would keep more people safe. Now, not only are permits required by city code for certain public events, but they also allow the city, they say, to deploy police, inspect the safety of building structures, and request road barriers. I have heard time and time again how many people want to apply for the permit process. They go through the permit process and oftentimes not getting their permit until days before um, their event. That is a major issue in our city leading up to the summer months. And I know that this is a priority given um, the tragic event that's happened in Brooklyn. Now, this was just an informational hearing. The current permitting process is still in place. So to see if you need a permit for your event and how to apply, you can go to our mobile app or our website, WBALTV.com. In the studio, Ashley Hinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.